Yes, there you go. Yeah, so we got us to the point now we need to get all the electrics out. I'm Cheska, this is Ben, and this is our little hitchhiker river. We all live full time in our self converted Sprinter van Sophia, travelling Europe and beyond in our tiny home on wheels. Freedom, adventure, and a life on the road. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. But it does, it does involve a project, yeah. which is. Which is completely redoing Sophia. So we're going to take Sophia right back to the installation. She's having a full makeover. Full, full makeover. Some big changes, some big modifications, which will help with our adventure next year. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another week of surviving the Arctic. Today, we're going to make a start on removing as much of the wood as we can. I can't remember if I screwed it in, glued it in, no one doesn't nail anything. So, or if it's screwed and glued, so it could be entertaining. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is get the slats gone from the bed so I can get into that side, try and dismantle some of the bed and the cupboard area. And then once sort of this end has got rid of, um, I can make a start on getting, uh, getting rid of all the electrics, taking all the electrics out. Do you want to see how easy these cupboard doors came off? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the next one on the floor, for yeah. sure. There you go! Look at the determination on your face then. So obviously on the cladding, we polyfilled all the screw holes, which has made it very difficult to remove said cladding. Right. So yeah, we're starting from the back of the van, taking down the cupboards, we're taking down the bed slats at least. And we're gonna kind of work our way, yeah, back to front in the van to get everything out. But it is a lot harder getting it. I thought it was difficult getting some of this in, but some of it is definitely harder to get out. Oh, right. done it Jesus. Okay, so we've just run into a little problem here as I've come to take off um, the carcass of this cupboard. We've got all of the solar panel electrics and everything running down here and obviously it's like trapped in this cupboard so we need to saw the cupboard basically to get make sure the wires get loose. Okay so, okay, so we've got the cupboard off through the cabling. Wow. Look how empty the walls look already. I know. Taking the middle of this bed frame out because it's getting really irritating to like climb around it. And um, I just was, some of the screws have been like threaded so I was just trying to get them out and anyway, I got carried away. Ben was sat on it. <laughs> ben was sat literally here. I was sat right there. <laughs> I was unclipping all the cables. <laughs> it just completely gave way. <laughs> you just always squash me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so we got us to the point now we need to get all the electrics out. Um, I've got an in, we've got an inline fuse on the solar panel, so I've disconnected that, and I've used the multimeter just to double check there's nothing coming in. Everything's switched off, the batteries are isolated and switched off. That's switched off over there. So yeah, all safe to carry on. Okay, so no, no electrics anymore in the electrics van. Electrics is all out. Well, it's all out up to there. Just didn't realize how much cable we had. It was a lot messier than I thought. I thought it was amazing at first, but over the year, I've definitely learned how to do it properly. So, yeah, we've done slightly differently this time. So we built the bed frame, or at least this top bit, outside of the van, and it's proving to be rather difficult to dismantle inside the van. <laughs> okay, 
so it's been a productive first day we've pretty much got most of the bed frame what we've realized is that everything is just connected to everything so the bed frame is connected to the sofa the which bed is frame's connected to the, the sofa, sofa. <laughs> the sofa's connected, connected to, to the everything the foot bone's connected to the leg bone the leg bone's connected to the knee bone so yeah we've taken most of the bed frame out and we have used about 10 million screws in just the bed uh, about 5 million for the cupboards but no it's been a good first day got the water tank out and the main thing is all the electrics are out and kind of like disconnected and the batteries yeah. are out so it's really just the furniture now and the kitchen Welcome back to one pretty empty van. It's really quite weird coming back and seeing it so empty. The plan today is, as we realise, everything is connected to everything. So the plan today is to get this seating area all ripped out. And I mean, ideally the kitchen ripped out too, but we'll see. I really don't know where to begin. I kind of do, but you kind of need to do like everything at once. Oh, okay, please may I have a flathead screwdriver then? Thank you. Oh, there's always like a. How many brackets did I think I needed? I feel like we've taken every screw out of here and it won't budge. Where is it being. What is it being held in by? I know we've glued bits in, but this is like ridiculous. So I've just managed to take this back baton off. Um, a lot of all of the bottom ones are also secured in with adhesive sealant. And I'm just taking this big flathead screwdriver and literally just scoring along it to break the seal and it just pops off, so. Oh. Look at that, oh it's pulled up some of the, oh, no. the vinyl. Well done, mate. That was so deep. <laughs> Not bad, eh? It's a lot more work than we thought, isn't it? I do apologise if most of this video is just a montage of taking out screws, but unfortunately, that is the reality of Rick and Party Van. Lots of unscrewing everything. So, day three of ripping out a van, and today it's time for the kitchen, which is one of the bigger jobs. We actually built, if you remember, we built the kitchen, or Ben built the kitchen, outside of the van, and then we screwed it in place. So, fingers crossed, we don't have to dismantle it piece by piece in here. No, I just need to take all the appliances out, don't we? Yeah. The easiest thing I've taken out so far. So a lot of this we're not going to reuse in the van because we're going to use some smaller wood and lighter wood. But I do need some work tables. So I'm hopefully... <gasps> Why don't you just make this into a work table? Yeah. This could be a work the workbench. And I could just put the... beautiful okay guys so that is the kitchen out completely now and repurposed as a worktop as in a, a a building worktop so i'll be doing all my bits on there but now the next thing to do is to start taking the cladding off
Okay, so as, as I was making a drink, Ben has already gone ahead and started to take the cladding off. We are um and ahhing about whether to keep the cladding as best as we can or to just start afresh and get new cladding. The problem is we have wood like wood filled all of the screw holes. So it's quite difficult to even get the cladding off in one piece. Yeah, and some of them are, are, are broke. And some of them are split from where we've like just put it on or they're gonna split when we take it off. Yeah. Last time we completely cladded up the sides and the ceiling, whereas this time we're only gonna clad um, the pieces or the places that are visible. So behind the seats, behind the cupboards we're gonna have are gonna be a three or five mil ply um, because it doesn't need to be needs to be cladding so um because of that i think it's probably best if we just what we'll do is we'll take it down as neatly and as safe uh, safely neatly and as i don't know undestructive as possible and we'll see what's what's saved i think should we cool is that okay with you yeah sounds good we'll try and take out what we can but most of it's just gonna have to yank out <laughs> This is actually quite a sad job. So much love and care went into doing the cutting and it is one of my favourite parts of the van, so it is bittersweet ripping this out, unfortunately. Ah. Just like that, Sophia is back to looking like a spaceship again. <laughs> half and half at the moment. She is half cladded, half not. So, yeah. We're doing well. We're getting through it quickly. No way. What? Two o'clock? Not even that. It's 10 to 2. Oh my god, guys. I thought it was like 4 o'clock. It's getting that dark here. It is literally 10 to 2. Oh, here comes River off on a you know, little adventure. Um, it's 10 to 2 and it's actually getting dark. It's getting hard to see in the van. It's yeah, ridiculous. I thought it was like 4. Hello. Hello. Come on in. What are we doing? <laughs> no, where have you been? We came looking for you. How did you get out? Wow. What a difference, eh? Hey? We're on day four of ripping everything out of Sophia. And it's pretty much back to spaceship mode, apart from this one last wall of cladding. Um, we're going to leave the bulkhead for now. Um, this is going to be changed, um, but it's quite a good template, so we're going to keep it for now, aren't we? Mm, yeah, we are, yeah. Um, and yeah, just this last bit of cladding to rip out, and then it's... I'm getting like traumatic flashbacks to actually how long it took to pour the cladding on, just looking at this spaceship. So I asked this on our Instagram, but we did have a workshop lined up um, to rent for the next three months, um, but it's fallen through. So we were just wondering if anybody knows anybody in like the Midlands area or South Devon that has like a barn or a workshop to rent. I know they're like gold dust. So if anybody knows anybody, if you could please just drop us an email at overlandingsophia at gmail.com. I'll put the our email down in the description below that would be a lot of help we do have a couple of backups that are not ideal and we will still just crack on with the build even if we have to do it outside but we would rather obviously have all we need is um somewhere that's high enough for this van for a high top sprinter and power that's all we need so yeah she would say there it is guys the trusty shelf that took ages to make. Let's go into the scrap heap. I'm really sad to see this go. This is one of my favorite like little features of the van. This little window frame. The one thing as well that is worth noting, especially if you're just about to start your van build, Anybody who has done any research around whether you should use soft insulation in the cavities of your van or not will know what a controversial topic it is. Some people, yeah. you know, love to use it. Other people say um, it absorbs moisture and causes mould and damp. 
our understanding of it is it's a great insulator and as long as you vapor seal properly there should be no mold and no damp basically it should hold no moisture yeah so um, we, we've used a lot of soft insulation in our van build well we use soft insulation uh in the top ribs and some down in the bottom ribs where the salatex wouldn't fit and after a year of driving in wet we've just had a look miserable now. you know damp weather we cut through just to have a look and check and it is bone dry yeah if you vapor seal properly with the reflectix and the aluminium foil um you'll be fine. absolutely fine and just like that she is back to looking like a little spaceship again yeah i can't believe it how it's taken us a little bit longer than we thought to rip it all out but obviously four days compared to the months it took to build it all in it's pretty crazy really when you think about it but um yeah i think we're going to leave the video there for this week yes yeah. we'll show you or walk you around our ideas of the new design next week and then yeah. you guys can let us know your thoughts or yeah. changes or disasters um <laughs> but yeah that'll be for for next week yeah so yeah please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and we shall see you next week bye, bye guys Okay, so this is how easy these cupboard doors came off. Ooh. Oh, this one. Trust it. This one. Ugh. Really awkward. Hey, hang on. What, what are you doing? Can I get it out? Think about it. There you go. <laughs> oh.